Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a level complete in BuildBox 3 using no code. If you like mobile games, be sure to like and subscribe because I'm all about mobile games. Every day in BuildBox, I give myself little goals, things that are not too difficult, cause too much frustration, but enough to build the foundations of a complete, fun, simple game in 3D. I opened up. Damn, I fucking catch that bug. Okay. Here you can see the mind map where I have World 1. World 2, I created a new UI for the complete and I just added a navigation button here and a title saying level complete. The navigation button goes to the second world, which is pretty much just like the first world. I opened up the bounce template because it had the closest foundations of what I was looking for. Then I created this level. I took away all the enemies. The goal for this was spend a couple of hours, learn how to make a level complete, and that will never be a problem again. First, I created these little cubes. Now these cubes are the finish line. So you have finish line one and finish line two. In these finish lines, I added physics to the finish line. I was even thinking about messing with the friction and bounce. But again, we are just here to complete the scene. I made this one a little dark and I made the other one a little light. Originally, I had gone into this cube and added the if collide and event to cause the scene to end. The problem with this, you don't get a cool effect of the ball going through the finish line once the ball touches the object causes the event observer to happen. Then the UI pops up. I copied this and created a new object. I went in here, grabbed the if collide, and then I grabbed the event observer. And then you drag it at the very start. This applies to this specific object and nothing else. Here, I changed the affected asset to the character. I could have also gone into the character and added the same thing. However, because the character already has a lot going on, here you can see I removed the bounce. I didn't want to add more to it. And so that is kind of the cool thing about the node system. It's all connected and at the same time separate in different areas. Here I attach it and then the event has the menu jump. With this menu jump, you're able to link out from this event, which is right here, to the complete. And then from the complete, this navigation button links out to the world. And again, the world is set up very similar and jumps you into the world. So let's go ahead, test it out. Now, things seem to be moving slow. I suspect that's because I'm recording. And look at that. And it didn't work. Let's see what I forgot. Okay, collision shape cube. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look at this because this was set up and connect it. What it will do is once I hit the finish line, and this again is not what I want, but it was working properly. So maybe we can see it work here. Here we see the level connect and I click and now I'm on level two. Now the question is, is what is the difference between this and the Invisalign? Affected asset, if collide, collision character cube. Um, I'm gonna change this to level complete. Oops. Maybe this will help because I believe the name of it will be here. Okay, this was a great learning moment because what we learned here was I had two different nodes and in this node, this node was called event and then the other node was also called event. So by changing this to level complete and going to the mind map, I can see that this is not the correct node and this should be here. This current event node is a previous test I had done. So now we can just, oh, wanna save it? Always save, 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 save. And again, everything is here just to do level complete because that was my goal for today. Great, now, and once you tap again, you are directed to the next levels. That is how to create a level complete using the node system in BuildBox 3, hashtag no code. If you like this tutorial, if you're gonna use this, if you already knew this, please let me know in the comments. 
And since you made it all the way to the end, let me just give you Hanno Max. This is where I go to look at information on how things are done. Buildbox 3 community is like super small when it comes to people who are actually publishing games, playing with Buildbox 3, trying to get insights on how things are done. So check it out, Hanno Max. Be sure to like and subscribe to his page because he is putting out cool stuff that I have to rewatch to understand. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.